If somebody decides to, to go the conventional route, the chemo, radiation, surgery, ends up passing away some number of days, months, weeks, years later, how many people do you think the cause of death is usually cancer? How many people do you think actually die from cancer versus a treatment that eventually got them toward the end? You can't know, and that's a great question. I mean, that should be mandatory. I mean, that should be figurable, outable, right? That should be part of the death certificate. It should be part of the process, but it's not. Um, you know, I also think that whenever there's an automobile accident, the police should question the people involved with the accident, what prescription medications are you taking? Because prescription medications make you feel and act funny. They do, even at appropriate dosages. But this is an undiscovered statistic because nobody wants to look at it. And, you know, I'm of the opinion that chemotherapy kills just as many people as cancer does. Well, I had a patient in uh, Rhode Island. She had uh, rectal cancer, and she went for conventional treatment. She also did nutritional support, right? And they botched the radiation that they gave her. It burned a hole through the rectum into the vaginal vault, and she died from an infection because they botched the surgery. They, well, it wasn't surgery. It was radiation. But when you decide rightly or wrongly, to go with conventional medicine, they give you a mountain of paperwork that you have to sign that releases everybody from any problem that, any, that ever happens from your treatment. And people gladly sign their lives away. Nobody goes to jail. There's no consequences. And that's why this juggernaut continues to roll down the road, because there's no consequences for the MD. And there needs to be.